All right, Bolo Buddies, let's head to the Goodwill bins and see what I find. Strategy and patience will turn this one item into over $100. So we're going to talk about that a little later in the video. Some of you may or disagree or agree with this strategy. So you'll have to let me know in the comments. As always, I ask you guys to let me know if you see something you would have picked up that I missed. Just throw that down in the comments. Everybody can go down there and check out what everybody would have picked up and what I may have left behind. So we are just gonna be digging through the bins. Uh, you're gonna see my hands digging the whole video. I'm gonna pop up screen shares of the things that I have listed already. There are some items that I have not listed. Some items will come over to whatnot, and we're just gonna we're just gonna see what I find. Lots and lots of stuff that is just I guess we'll call it trash. <laughs> There's always lots of trash in the bins, but you can also find some treasure, some unexpected treasure. And let me know what your favorite thing to look for is at the bins. I know many of you are, you go straight to the shoes. You go straight to the clothing. I go straight to the hard goods. I love finding small toys. Uh, since I've been doing whatnot, I sell a lot of jewelry. And you don't find a lot of jewelry at the bins. But as far as my platforms, I am mostly into hard goods. I don't do a lot of clothing anymore. I used to do clothing. That was all I did. Now, those pantyhose, if I see vintage pantyhose, that's something I would definitely pick up. And you guys have seen me pick those up at the bins before. Just lightweight items are going to be the cheapest because at the Goodwill bins, you pay by the pound. So what is the price of your pay by the pound at the Goodwill bins? Let me know down in the comments. I know that the prices have been increasing over the past couple years. Have yours increased lately, and what are you guys at? Let me know down there. So, so far, I haven't really found anything, just doing a lot of digging, and that's how it goes sometimes. Sometimes you find things right away, and sometimes you have to really, really dig. And I'm just going to keep digging here until I can show you something I find. I think that is a light. Would you guys have picked that up? For me, it's a no, because I don't like shipping breakables, but maybe I should have comped it, because sometimes... Those big glass lights can be a bolo. What is a bolo? A bolo is an item to be on the lookout for. That is what my channel is mostly about, looking for things to flip for a profit. And if you haven't watched my channel before, be sure to check out some of my other videos. I have a lot of what sold videos where I talk about items I've sold and items other sellers have sold. I have a Facebook group, Bolo Buddies. Uh, you can check that out. It's under the link tree in the description. So this is the first item I found, and it is an egg. And then I find this plush monkey. I love these. And of course, I kept the subscribe button. Are you kidding me? I found a subscribe button pillow. So all of these items I picked up, I think that already sold. And uh, yeah, you can just see some of the things I've got. What do you guys think? Would you have grabbed those items or would you have left them behind? All right, let's see what else we've got going on here. Uh, again, if you see something that you would have picked up, let me know. And I found this right here. So this is the one, strategy and patience. So I found that baggie, and it had, I don't know how many mugs in it, 10, 15, and they each have a different name on them. So I listed the little uh, thing that you hang. I think it's for a dollhouse or something. And then I listed each mug individually. So over time, I can probably turn that into over $100. The problem is, is that I have to find somebody with the name on the mug that wants to buy the mug. So it's going to be a bread and butter. It's going to be long tail. I did have somebody reach out to me already and ask me if I had a name. I think I had, I don't know, like the name Dawn. And they asked me if I had the name Donald or something like that. That's not correct. But, you know, you get the idea. They were probably searching for it and thought that maybe I had every single name, <laughs> but I do not. So, and I was thinking it might do well on, ins uh, not Instagram, on, uh, what do you call it, Etsy, but I haven't really been listing on Etsy anymore. My main platforms are eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. I start my items in List Perfectly, and then I cross post them to all three platforms from List Perfectly. If you guys don't know about that, Check out the videos down below. I have tutorials 
fabulous cross posting, but they also have uh, listing assistant now and auto D list and lots of new features. So I am now on the pro plus plan. Super excited about that. Starting over and check out the listing assistant video to learn more about list perfectly. If you check it out and you decide you want to cross post, I do have a referral code. It is Bolo Buddies, all one word, and that will get you 30% off your first month of List Perfectly. And the link is down below as well, that referral link. This is a Bunnies by the Bay. That is listed currently in my eBay store. I'm, it's probably on Poshmark and Mercari also because I cross post. So you can check that out. I think I should have got the avocado. Should I have gotten the avocado? It was so cute. I can't remember why I left it behind. Sometimes they're missing their tush tags or the tush tag has writing on it and it'll be a pass for me. It, but sometimes you can sell them with writing on the tush tag if it's a good one. I have a Lisa Frank listed really high right now and it does not have the tush tag. It got cut off. This is a little green guy. I couldn't find any comparables on that. So I went ahead and picked that up. I've got it priced kind of high, but it's super soft and super cute. And it has the original tag. So new old stock, Pick it up. Now, if it is new old stock with the tag, I will put um, pre-owned original tag because it's still a pre-owned item. I'm not the original owner. I bought it secondhand. So I just go with uh, pre-owned original tags for that. Let me know what you guys do. If it has a tag, do you consider it new with tags? And that goes for clothing also. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments. All right, let's see. We're going through the stuffed animals. And at our Goodwill bins, they spray down the plush. Um, I don't know if that's required by every state. Do you guys know? There was one time I went and they had just sprayed everything and you could just smell it. So, of course, I got Bozo the Clown. Check him out. Check him out. I think he's one of those where you, like, learn to button and you learn to zip and you learn to tie. But I did pick him up and he is listed. So fun, just a fun little stuffed animal toy. I'm trying to think of what the word is. Interactive, that's the word, it's interactive. So the kids can try to do the different functions. All right, let's keep digging, digging at the bins. Here is this little guy. These are called Hallmark Itty Bitties. I usually pick these up. They're just small stuffed animals. They're a bread and butter bolo. Um, Bread and butter means they take a little longer to sell, not as high profit margins, but definitely something you can pick up cheap and flip for a profit. Also very easy to ship stuffed animals. I usually put them in a padded poly mailer, but uh, you can ship them in a box. You can ship them however you want. If they have plastic eyes, I will a lot of times cover the eyes with a second layer of bubble wrap just to protect them in case um, it gets beat up during shipping. All right, let's keep digging here. I do have a lot of videos on stuffed animals that sell for big money. You can type in Bolo Buddies plush into the YouTube search and it will pull that up. And also, if you wanna learn how to use Google Lens, Google Lens is a great tool when you're at the Goodwill bins. If you want to try to identify something and Google Lens is free, it's an app you put on your phone and you take a picture of the item and it will identify it for you. And it'll take you over and sometimes it'll show you active listings, which can help you get an idea of where things are listed at right now. I always say take that information and then search solds because you wanna look at solds and not actives when you are comping things to price for a selling platform. All right, let's dig. Legos, Duplos. I have done pretty well with Duplos. I just did a what sold video for Poshmark where I shared with you some Duplo Legos. I sold them for a hundred bucks. And those were Legos that I, the bigger ones that I had dug out of the Goodwill bins. Some of them may have come from garage sales in different places, but I think most of them came from the bins. I'll pick those up a lot, especially when I can find the mini figures that go with them, uh, the Duplo, the bigger ones that go with those right there. If you add those in and if you can find a big plate to sit them on, do you know what I'm talking about? The bigger, larger plates. And people love those as bundles. If you give them everything they need to play and create something, 
that definitely helps the listing sell quicker. I pick up small toys. I love small toys. Some of those small toys will surprise you. They will sell for 20 or 30 bucks for one little figure, uh, especially TV shows where they weren't mass produced. A lot of those will do really well. Replacement parts, different things. So you will find those buried at the bottom of the bins, those little treasures that get missed and skipped over because people think they have no value. So those are the things that I'm looking for. And usually they're such, they're lightweight. So I will just put them in my cart, just put them in my cart, grab them and go and take a chance. You can always bundle the small toys. People are always looking for toys and bundles. So you really can't lose. I did look this up if I remember correctly and it didn't have good comps. So I left that one behind. All right. Let's keep going. I can't remember if I did Google Lens or if I scanned the barcode, but I feel like I looked that up. And we're gonna keep digging over in this bin now. So there's a lot of uh, rotating to different bins. And sometimes you have to wait on a new cart to come out and other times they come out so fast you can't even finish what you're doing. But uh, majority of the time you're standing around. There is some wait time. Now, if you sell hard goods and clothing, you're gonna do better because there's probably always somewhere to dig. A lot of people do books. I always pick up the finger puppets. This is a finger puppet. You stick two fingers in and you can make it walk and do different things. It's, it's really cute. Just another bread and butter bolo there. And you're gonna see stuffed animals, toys, hard goods. That's kind of my thing. I did mention selling jewelry over on Whatnot. I would love for you guys to come over to Whatnot and check it out. If you guys are thinking of another platform to sell on, I do have tutorials that teach you how to sell on Whatnot. Uh, Bolo Buddies, Whatnot for Beginners into the YouTube search. And if you wanna come hang out with everybody uh, at a Whatnot show, I am Bolo Buddies, all one word over there. And you can use my referral link down below to get $15 to shop when you join Whatnot. And if you have never heard of Whatnot, oh my goodness, you have got to check it out. It is so fun. So we chat it up in the chat and it's auction style. I start all of my jewelry at $5 or less and we just have a good time. So I hope you'll come over and hang out. I don't know what this monkey was. It looks like it has a belly button. Do you think it does something? Anybody seen anything like that before? Maybe I should have picked that one up, but I left it behind. All right, let's see what else, what other treasures can we find at the bins? Oh, and let me know on the coffee, the little coffee mugs, the strategy <laughs> and patience. Do you have that much patience to list each one of those individually or would you have listed it as a lot? I felt like if I listed it as a lot, nobody's gonna want all that. These are just little figures and toys that I picked up in the bin and I wasn't filming, so I just thought I would show you guys an example of some of the things I pick up. Those, I think a lot of those were Barbie maybe. So some of those items will come to whatnot. I like to do toy shows from time to time. I have had Christmas, vintage Christmas. I have also sold vintage clothing, but my main thing is jewelry. I'll do ephemera from time to time. So yeah, you can find anything on whatnot. It's, oh it's super fun. A lot of people are buying to sell, uh, to flip those this. items on whatnot also. And you can see uh, there was a shortage of carts for a while at our Goodwill bins. Do you guys have a lot of carts or do you find yourself searching for a cart? I don't know. Maybe I should have got that little cute doll. Look how cute she is. She's kind of like a real soft plush. I don't think I ended up picking her up. I think I put her back. I may have searched comps. I can't remember. All right, let's dig. Oh, looky here. Now her hair is a little bit of a mess, but overall she's in pretty good condition aside from her hair. And she is vintage. She is a pleasant company doll. You can see here I had no cart. <laughs> no cart for me. This one was our generation, I think. Those don't sell as well, but the pleasant company, she is currently listed. Do you pick up uh, American Girl, Our Generation? I can't remember what the other ones are. There's different brands for different companies that they sell. Little minifigures, little minifigures. All right, let's keep digging. Who wants to dig? 
Is that a cash register or a makeup case? I don't know what that was. And then you can see here there's a lot of big stuff. You really have to get to the bottom. Get to the bottom and dig underneath to see what's down there. Otherwise, you may miss something. Not a whole lot in this bin. Again, I'm going for the smalls. I'm looking for the toys. I'm looking for the little things that people miss. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. I've got a whole bunch of Goodwill bins videos. This one was not super exciting, but check out some of my others because wow. Thanks for watching.